Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I am going to build a push-up counter uh, like this one using a Raspberry Pi, Pi camera, and a Media Pi Python library. So Media Pi is uh, a cross-platform machine learning pipeline, and uh, it has released many pre-built Python and other language packages. So you can see that here. So it has released face detection, face mask detection, iris, hands detection, pose detection, and many other uh, Python and other language packages that can be directly used for in your applications. So here in this project, we are going to use this pose detection uh, model of uh, Media Pipe. By using this model, we will first detect the points of our shoulder and uh, elbow, and then we will compare these two points. And uh, whenever the shoulder and elbow both are at the same level or uh, below the elbows, then it will count that as a push-up. Otherwise, it will not count uh, that as a push-up. So, this library, Media Pipe library, can be easily installed on Raspberry Pi. And uh, a complete step-by-step -step guide for installing this library and a complete code for uh, this project can be found at the link in the video description. So first follow that link and install all these libraries and then we will test it uh, and then test it on your on Raspberry Pi 4. So before going to its uh, working, let's first take a look at the code that we are going to use. So this is the complete code that we are using and uh, at the starting of the code first we have included all the required library files. So here first we have included the OpenCV library file and then we imported the media pipe library as a MP. So as mentioned earlier, media pipe is the core package for pose estimation uh, while the OpenCV is used for image processing. Now then in the next lines, uh, we have created two new variables. So first one is the MP drawing and uh, that uh, will be used uh, to get all the drawing utilities from media pipe Python package and uh, the second one is the MP pose so this is used to import the pose estimation model now after that uh, we have defined some variables like counter and uh, the output video name and then in next lines uh, we have defined a function called find position so as the name suggests, it is used to find the XY coordinates of uh, all the body landmarks like shoulders, eyes, hands, etc. So the coordinates of uh, these points will be then stored in this LM list variable. And uh, this list will be used later in this code uh, to get the dimensions. So after that, uh, we will uh, use the cv2.video capture function of uh, OpenCV. Uh, to start the video streaming and uh, here I have uh, used a pre-recorded video for push-up detection. You can even change it with zero uh, if you want to use your Raspberry Pi camera or you can change it to one if you want to use any USB camera that is connected to your Raspberry Pi. So then next I have created a new instance uh, for a media pipe fee to access the post pose estimation model that we have imported earlier in the starting of the code. So we have also passed two key arguments that are minimum detection confidence and minimum tracking confidence. And then in next lines, uh, we are using the cape.read function of OpenCV to read the video frames. And then we are storing these frames in a variable called image. Now the image uh, that we got from uh, video fit is originally in BGR format. So in this line, we first uh, flipping the image, and uh, then we are uh, controlling. Con then we are con converting the BGR image to RGB format. Now after that, uh, we are going to pass this image uh, to the pose estimation model, and uh, then the results will be stored in a variable called result. And uh, then we have converted the image to its uh, uh, pre-position that is uh, RGB format. Now here uh, we have used that lm list uh, variables and uh, calling the find position function uh, to get all the coordinates of uh, the points of our body that is shoulder, eyes, hands, etc. 
so now that we have the position of all our points uh, we will use the points of our both the shoulders and both the elbows to count the push-ups so for that uh, first we will get the ids of the both the shoulders that are 12 and 11 and ids of both the elbows that are 13 and 14 so using these ids we will first get the dimensions of all these four points and then we will compare it with each other so here first we are getting the coordinates of our shoulders and uh, then we are comparing these coordinates with the coordinates of our elbows so uh, if the shoulders are at the same level as elbows or uh, below the elbows then we will set these stages down and uh, when the shoulders are above the elbows the state will change to up and uh, it will be counted as a push up so here we are include, increase, uh, increasing the push up count using the counter plus one function and uh, when the push ups are counted we will print the push up count on the video streaming using cv2.put text function of opencv and in the last of uh, the code we are going to export this video stream as a video output to our project folder so this is the complete code and here in the last uh, we have initialized the key q if you want to uh, terminate the code in between, in between of the processing so this is the complete code so now in next we are going to test uh, this script so there are two ways to test it either you can use a pre-recorded video or you can use raspberry pi camera or a usb camera to test it on a live feed so here uh, first we will test it on a uh, pre-recorded video and then we will use raspberry pi camera uh, to test it with a live feed to test uh, the script i am logged into my raspberry pi using vnc viewer and uh, here i am in the project directory and as you can see i already have two videos of me doing push-ups and i will use these videos to test the script so let me first start the code and uh, here uh, you can see that it is already tracking all my uh, body parts and uh, my shoulders have some red dots and uh, elbows also so these red dots are initially red but when uh, the dimensions when the dimensions of uh, shoulders are below the elbows it turns green and uh, when it comes uh, up again uh, the counter increases and uh, the count on the screen it increases also so as you can see that push ups has uh, increased to 2 so the frame rate in raspberry pi is slow due to its processing power if you use the same script on a laptop or some other powerful microcontroller then it will be very smooth and uh, uh, real time so as you can see that it is counting the push ups correctly and only drawback is the speed of uh, processing speed so this video will be also exported to the project folder in a, a mp4 mp4 format so you can uh, even use uh, view this video after uh, the processing completes So the code is working perfectly on a pre-recorded video. So after testing this script with a pre-recorded video, now let's, let's uh, test it with a live video feed from Raspberry Pi camera. For that first you have to make uh, some changes in your code. That is the video device that you are using. So here instead of using pre-recorded video, we are going to use Raspberry Pi camera. For that uh, change the video address to zero and then save the changes. Now launch your python script
so here you can see that it is uh, currently counting the push ups but due to the slow frame rate it is skipping some frames and uh, that is affecting its uh, quality so this is how you can use media pipe library with raspberry pi 4 to build a personal push up counter so using the same method you can uh, also track some other uh, exercises like uh, uh, squats or pull ups or some other exercises that you want so a complete step by step guide and complete code for this project is given at the link in the video description thanks for watching the video